Hello musicians, welcome back. My name is Bucky Dirtle and I am doing a video tutorial today on Sample and Hold. This is Blog Audio's Sample and Hold module. You can see it right here. Now let me just explain what, well, let me explain a little bit about Sample and Hold. First of all, uh, this has been around for a long time. I have a friend of mine who has an ARP 2600 and uh, beautiful old original synth and his Sample and Hold is broken. And he says that with the sample and hold broken on his ARP 2600, it's practically useless. Now I don't believe <laughs> he's. I don't think that's actually true, but that only goes to show how much musicians who are using um, old school synthesis can really rely on the sample and hold module. So it can be very, very, very useful. So uh, let's just have a look at what it does. <clears throat> so. What sample to hold? Um, just uh, I'll I'll show you what it does first, and then we'll talk about how it's actually doing it. Um, now I have a couple of things open. I'm gonna put this VCO down out of the way because I'm not using this guy right now. Um, but let's have a listen to the sound we're getting right now. Okay, you can hear this. It's a step step up and down. If you look at our, we have an LFO here. The sine wave coming out is pretty low frequency. Uh, sine wave is going into the sample and hold, coming out of the sample and hold, going into uh, frequency modulation on this um, uh, Audible's, Audible Instruments uh, macro oscillator. That's going out into our little uh, analyzer, Bog Audio Analyzer, and out into the mixer. And going into the trigger of uh, sample and hold is a, a beat, a clock from uh, AS Modules BPM clock, which is a, a clock I use all the time. I love this one. So, <clears throat> if I wasn't using the clock, okay, if I wasn't using, uh, sorry, if I wasn't using uh, sample and hold, this is what I would get. Okay, so you'll see it's just a, a slow glissando up and down through frequency range. I put back in our sample and hold. Now, let me explain to you what sample and hold does. <clears throat> oh, and I'm going to slow down my clock. This may even show you even clearer what it does. Okay, now, what sample and hold does is it samples what the oscillator is doing at at the moment of a trigger and it will hold that it will play that what it sampled until the next trigger and then it will resample for an instant and then play that back for the duration until the trigger is is fires off another time so if I slow this down even more, you can really see, see it's, sample, it's sampling, playing the sample or holding it, and then releasing the sample, resampling, holding that, and then when the trigger comes again, resampling, holding again. So it's pretty cool. I mean, it's pretty cool what it's doing. Um, now, you can also, it, I'm using the clock here, but, but we have a trigger. If I hit the trigger, you can see that it will sample and hold whenever I put the trigger, when I hit the trigger. And that can be cool too. You may have a use for that. There's a similar kind of feature in some of the reverb uh, modules where they, uh, they have a, a hold or freeze um, um, option. Okay, so I'm going to turn that off. So, um, so that's what we have here uh, doing that. Now, this can be really useful. Uh, in a lot of ways and again this this series of tutorials I'm doing right now are not um, how to apply this to your music this is about um, the, the very technical functionality of these modules and then you can start applying it to your own music in the future I will provide you with some other musical examples of, of how we can use these things to make music but not in the scope of this these tutorials so you can see what it does you can also apply this to all kinds of things. 
Like, uh, for example, if you were to go to um, Nice Synthes, um, uh, Complex Simpler, which is a sampler, and load in a sample into this thing. Let me load in a quick little wave file here. All right. And there we go. And uh, now it's in there. So now if I wanted to, I could take my, instead of having my, let me put this to an out. And now that will be playing. It's playing there now. So now if I wanted to, I could take this uh, sample and hold, which is coming from the LFO. And I can put that into anywhere I want. Uh, put it into, I don't know, um, let's put it into the start stop. So let's, that's not going to do much for it, is it? Here we go. This is changing the start. This is what I meant to do. So you can see it's moving based on where the LFO is sitting. So as the LFO slides back and forth across its frequency range, it's bringing the start time back and forth. Pretty cool. I mean, it's stepping it. Now, if I if I was to take the sample and hold out of that, you can watch that start stop line. It would see it now. It's it's smooth. You see that it's smooth. Again, if I take this the sample and hold and run the same control voltage, look. You see it's stepping. So there are a lot of things we can do with this that will give us all kinds of cool uh, effects. Um, you can have that um, sample and hold set to whatever clock speed you want, as I showed you. Um, and you can have it with a variety of this for different control voltage inputs. I'm using an LFO by Fundamental here. But you can use all kinds of different controls. Uh, this is meant for mostly control voltage, but it can be used for aud like audible um, sound. So, but it's meant uh, it's meant for hmm, it's meant for control voltage level signals. But you know what? Just because it's meant for something doesn't mean that that's what it's got to be. You can make it be whatever you want it to be. So uh, have fun with it. So sample and hold again. It's a vintage vintage module because these were around for a long time. Very cool. I'm sure you'll find all kinds of ways to use it in your music, and I'd love to hear about it. Be sure to tell me about that in the um, comments of this post or you can also get me in the utopian.io discord i'd love to hear from you okay thank you very much for watching good luck with your music and i'll see you next time